Hello dear students. Welcome to the Bajirao IS Academy. Today is 17th January and we are going to cover the daily Hindu newspaper analysis. So in today's session, we will be covering two important issues. The first issue is related to geopolitics of Bangladesh election. We know that recently Bangladesh Prime Ministerial elections conducted in which earlier Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina won the election. So from the US side, it's an allegation that the election was not democratic, it was not fair. And what is the main issue that the opposition party in Bangladesh didn't participated in this election. So can you say that this election was democratic because the opposition party was not representing the elections. So here we will be discussing in a greater detail. Then further we will shift towards the second editorial where the main focus is about International Court of Justice. And here why I am discussing this International Court of Justice. It's all because South Africa is moving to International Court of Justice against Israel for the act of the genocide. So what is this whole issue and the basic motto is to understand about International Court of Justice. What's the function, what's the role and it can be the potential question for your prelims as well. So let's start with our discussion but before that if you hadn't subscribed our YouTube channel kindly share, subscribe as well as like. So let's discuss and the first article you can relate with GS paper 2. You know that Bangladesh is our neighboring country and we have good relations with Bangladesh. Okay. And recently, the national elections in Bangladesh occurred on January 7, 2024, where the Awami League and its allies, which is headed by Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, won the victory and they got about 225 seats out of 300 contested seats. But wait, one thing you need to understand that in this election, the main opposition party that is Bangladesh Nationalist Party, whose leader as well as the former Prime Minister Khalida Zia, this is the main opposition leader, once Prime Minister as well, okay, so was imprisoned under allegations of corruption and this main opposition party boycotted the polls. Now you will be having the question why this boycott of the polls? It was all because from this main opposition party there was a demand that the election should held in a neutral manner. And how the election will be in the neutral manner? By having the neutral caretaker government until and unless the election gets done. Okay. So that was the main issue and hence the main opposition party opposed to take participation in the election. So basically this is not the first time that this type of incidents of the electoral manipulation all of that is coming. But whenever there is a general election the issue of electoral manipulation remains in the news. Okay. Like before this general election there was earlier general election okay so that was also the case and here we need to understand that due to the importance of Bangladesh because when we talk about the strategic significance of the Bangladesh it's very important in terms of their location in terms of the trade in terms of their growing progress so many countries specifically when we say the powerful countries like China Russia USA, they are trying to influence this country with their powers, with their investments and many more things. And US wants that the election should be free and fair. Okay. But as we already know, there is a tussle going on between Bangladesh and the US regarding the free and fair election. And hence, US approach towards this election is not good okay so us doubts on the election of the bangladesh that is the main issue and regarding the importance of bangladesh 
so it's very important as in terms of global geopolitics and many nations are trying to influence bangladesh and we have a various examples like rising potential with the economic growth of 7.1 percent of annual gdp in 2022 and apart from that we have already told you that it's located on a strategically important location so there is a geopolitical tug of war with the regional as well as global power as we have discussed some of the name of the country so here we will be discussing one by one with respect to india when we talk about with respect to india so india's importance for bangladesh is very very important first of all neighboring countries there and second the issues with the bangladesh should be handled in close collaboration and partnership and if there is lack of good relation these issue like the rohingya issue as well as illegal migrants issue and apart from that the water sharing issue will be getting hurted okay and apart from that we have the bilateral relations with bangladesh as well and we can have an example like 15 million 15 billion dollar annual bilateral trade occurs along with huge investment in bangladesh and counter terrorism energy as well as river water sharing and one important thing you need to understand for india's perspective that bangladesh is very important to counter the influence of china in the indian ocean in nearby region of india okay so that's why bangladesh importance is very very important okay otherwise china can play the influence here as like they are playing with respect to other neighboring country like we have recently seen the incidents with maldives okay so that is very important thing and apart from that the good relations with the bangladesh helps in offsetting the instability coming from the neighbors such as pakistan and afghanistan so that is also important thing like dealing with the insecurity and the terrorism related issue okay and now we are coming to the us angle so us in the recent time has been critical with bangladesh first of all all because of the shortcomings in the democratic elections apart from that suppression of human rights and muzzling press freedom and that's why us in the recent times are taking bigger restrictions like imposing visa restrictions on bangladesh individual and in the recent statement they also said that elections were neither free nor fair and largely non participatory why it's all because the main opposition party didn't participated in the elections okay then when we talk about china so china do favors the bangladesh okay so china is not critical to bangladesh as definitely china know that if the china want to have a influence on the bangladesh criticism will not help for china that's why china is playing its own card and also we have an example like china is bangladesh number one trading partner with bilateral trade exceeding 25 billion dollar and recently the ambassador of china yao wen also congratulated prime minister on winning the election okay and apart from that they said that election is completely an internal issue of bangladesh so what you are observing that like china is also trying to play their play card and apart from that we have the russia as well so russia also wants to deepen the relationship with the bangladesh and we have an example here like rupur power plant rupur nuclear power plant is being built in bangladesh with the help of russia okay and russia is also taking the keen interest in bangladesh election like they also congratulated the sheikh hasina on her election victory so we need to understand but leaving all these things behind bangladesh need to ensure that whatever problems which is faced by their country needs to be addressed first of all the credibility of the elections and apart from that the increasing economic and the strategic hub like bangladesh economy 
depends on the garment industry okay the clothes industry but in the recent times there is like declining foreign exchange okay so that is one thing and if the credibility of bangladesh gets affected so at the international level at the international organization the collaboration may get affected okay so one thing is that so we need to bangladesh needs to tackle the domestic challenge like increasing living cost triggering the poor twist in the recent month apart from that we have already discussed that diminishing dollar reserves and weakening of the local currency so this will also increase the inflation imported inflation so they can cause chaos among the people among the society okay so these challenge are still prevailing in bangladesh and hope that miss sheikh hasina government will able to counter all of the challenge and they will respond to the criticism strongly so that is one thing here you need to understand the importance of bangladesh with india's angle that's all okay and how the china are trying to influence bangladesh we need to understand it as well so this is the article now we are shifting to the second editorial and it can be covered under gs paper 1 so first of all we need to discuss that whatever the israel hamas conflict is going on now it have a bigger repercussions that we are seeing it is getting a spread it outside the israel and the middle east asia region or the west asia region now more and more countries are involving okay and there is like continuation of war not the solution not the peace and stability okay so that is thing going on and in this recent issue there is another issue that is coming that is south africa accused israel that they are doing genocide acts against the palestinians in the gaza and it was highlighted in the international court of justice so south africa approached international court of justice so that these genocidal acts should be stopped okay there should be the stoppage of the violence so the international court of justice will be hearing the matter okay and at the preliminary stage south africa also sought that whatever israel is doing in gaza against the people so that is against the genocide convention okay so what is this genocide convention it likes Uh, like have a rules and regulations that try to avoid the case of genocide okay and which case will be qualified to be a genocide there have a discussions in this convention okay and how south africa is accusing because of huge deaths and destruction that is going on by israel in the gaza against the people okay so south africa wants that there should be the suspension of the military activities or the operation that is going on that is being conducted by israel okay so that peace should be availed and there should be no loss to the people okay but what is the issue before the court like uh, one thing is quite clear that the icj or the international court of justice will be taking this concern and definitely will try to uh, like uh, stop this type of uh, like acts because it's like a killing of the innocent people but the main important thing you need to understand that the international court of justice being a court of justice but when it comes to implementation of the decision so it rarely happens like we have the case study even during the russia ukraine war there was similar case that went to the icj to prevent the spread of war to prevent the death and damage but the russia ignored the icj order to suspend the operation in ukraine in march 2022 so we need to understand this so maybe even the judgment or the provincial judgment comes 
uh, to stop this type of incident but it depends on israel whether they will be stopping or not okay so there is a little doubt that any provincial measure will cast a shadow on the legitimacy of israel's gaza war but it depends on israel whether they want to accept it or continue it okay so that is the thing and now we will be discussing about the basics of international court of justice that is also very very important for your prelim section first of all it's a principal judicial organ of the united nation and it was established in 1945 and it is only principal organs of the united nation which is not located in new york so where it is located it is located in geneva switzerland so what's the role as the name suggests to settle disputes as per the international law and to provide advisory opinions as well but kindly remember for the prelims that judgment is binding on the party to a case and without appeal okay and when we talk about composition so there is total 15 judges and they are elected for 9 years term yes they are elected for 9 year terms by the united nations general assembly and approval from the security council so we have already discussed the headquarter the headquarter is located in the hague the netherlands okay sorry i already in the previous slide told you switzerland it's netherland okay so that is one thing hope you understood and that's the end of the article thank you thank you very much